when I'm seized, taken to, say, the police station, and flogged because of something I've done, the idea is something very unpleasant has been done to me in order to prevent me from engaging in a certain act. Um, if I flog myself in order to prevent myself from engaging in the same act, I would hold that the end result is the same. I've been flogged. I don't think either of them have the net effect of making me a better person. Um, if someone guilts me, um, I have been guilted. That's a means of preventing me from doing something bad. If I guilt myself, I don't believe that I've been made into a better person. That's just a means of stopping myself from doing something bad. Um, if I only avoid doing or thinking or being in a certain bad way, um, I'm not actually making myself into a better person. You can actually flog yourself. Um, let's say that I've got a bad habit that is only self-destructive. It's not harmful to anyone else. Say I go home after work every night and I get hammered out of my tree and I don't bother anybody. Um, what I'm doing is self-destructive. Um, but there is a strong possibility that I would feel guilty about that. Um, it's the same thing as if I were being guilted by everyone else for doing it. That's the same reason why I might hide that from society and at large um, over the, the fact that I have this habit of going home and getting drunk out of my tree by myself when there's no harm done to anyone. Because our society will sandbag you if they know that you've done that. They'll shame you. They'll guilt you. That kind of thing. You'll be sort of held up as a, a person that has failed somehow. Um, even pity can actually work that way. It can be a, a species of shame. If I see the bad habit or the crime, uh, overt or only against myself, and I freely choose not to do it because I understand the consequences of what I'm doing, and I understand that working it through to its logical conclusion isn't actually what I want, then I am actually turning myself into a better person. I am seeing the bad acts for what they are. It's not that I am afraid to do the bad things for, the fear, for fear of the consequences. It's that I don't want to do those things. I see the end result of this action will not be a desired outcome. Preventing bad is the business, I think, of society, and, and to a certain extent it's, it's our own individual business to actually prevent ourselves from doing bad. But preventing bad has nothing whatsoever with being a good person or becoming a good person. That's something completely different. Um, again, I'm not even going to say that guilt is not necessary, but it's not a good thing. It's not. It's no different from flogging, if you ask me. Anyone who, see, who thinks that guilt is more or less harmless because it's not overt, um, you know, it's, we're, we're much nicer here in this part of the world than those barbarians over in Saudi Arabia because we don't actually flog people or lop their limbs off, um, may honestly not know just what a devastating thing guilt can be. As I say, I think guilt is probably one of the two big things in this world. Um, harm prevention and good promotion. Harm prevention, maybe guilt is useful for that. Nothing to do with good promotion. Hmm. Just to clarify. <laughs>